Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. Today I'm going to answer for you 10 questions about homeschooling. So I have been tagged by Katie from Life in the Mundane to answer these 10 homeschool questions for you. Question number one, were you homeschooled? I was not homeschooled. I wish I was homeschooled, but then again, what kid doesn't wish they were homeschooled? I went to public school in Philadelphia. I went to a K through eight school, and then I went to an all girls high school. Number two, did you always plan to homeschool? Um, so before I had kids, I really didn't know much about homeschooling. And my plan was to work at a public school as a child psychologist at a school and work for the school district, obviously, so that I could have off when my kids had off. And that way I could have off the summers with them and be home at the same time with them after school every day, which is what my mother did for us. She worked for the school district and she had off whenever we had off. And then when my daughter was about four, I met a lady who was homeschooling her children. And then I started to get really interested in it and remember that that was an option. So no, I won't go into the whole, if you want to know the whole story, check out this video and it'll give you the whole story. But no, I did not always plan on homeschooling. What are three books you recommend for homeschooling moms? Um, I have to be honest, I don't have a lot of time to read. <laughs> I love reading, I love books. And I have a stack full of books that I've read a chapter or two each and have not finished any of them. So I do not have any good books to recommend for you. But if you have any good audiobooks, I'd love to hear about them. Are you the only teacher? So at home, yes, I am the only teacher. I homeschool them all by myself at home. However, outside of the home, we go to a homeschool co-op. So we have the teachers at the homeschool co-op that teach them things that I can't teach them. For example, my son will be learning chess this year. I do not know how to play chess. My daughter learned violin, musical theater, drama, PE. So these are all things that I am not able to teach. And so my children take call classes where they learn there. Also, they go to Wednesday night groups at our church where they learn a lot about the Bible from the teachers there. Of course we do Bible at home but they get more hands-on and um, you know activities and fellowship and deeper understanding of the Bible there. Where is your favorite place to buy curriculum? I have to say the homeschool convention is my absolute favorite place because you get to see everything hands-on and touch them and flip through the books you just want to buy everything. But since I don't go every year and even if I did go every year, like who buys stuff just once a year? My favorite place is Amazon. I just go on Amazon and I get all of my stuff from there. Do you have a homeschool budget? Sadly, I do not have a homeschool budget. I should totally have a homeschool budget. I think I'm going to go make a homeschool budget right now. I kind of just get things as I need them. Or I don't get them if I can't. Or I use the library a lot. And that's kind of how that goes. What are your two must-have supplies for homeschooling? Hmm. So I don't want to say the same thing that other people probably say like a laminator which really comes in handy and like my three ring hole puncher. So I'm going to say my laptop. I need my laptop. It's where I do my schedules and all my planning and all my research for homeschooling and print out printables and all that stuff that's so much fun for me. My other thing I would say actually are my bookshelves because you need a place to put all of your stuff just storage in general what are your favorite and least favorite subjects to teach so my least favorite subject to teach is math i know a lot of us hate teaching math it's never been my strong suit i'm just not that great at math um i've learned alongside of my kids though and my oldest is in going into seventh grade i've learned a lot teaching her um but yeah i don't like math and my favorite subject to teach, I really enjoy teaching language arts. We use the good and the beautiful language arts and I really love teaching it because there's so many different things that tie into it and different activities like you have spelling and challenging words and then they have the reader and just the activities and the little lessons are fun. Like, I don't know if it's my kid's favorite, but it's my favorite to teach. Are you a part of a homeschool group? Yes. Every Tuesday we go to a homeschool co-op, like I've mentioned before, and we are absolutely blessed by this co-op. Um, 
My kids and I have all met our very best friends there. We have all of our play dates because of the co-op. We have field trips with the co-op. Um, and the kids get to have a classroom experience, uh, experiencing some independence and just going from class to class on their own and being in the classroom without me listening to other teachers and having to respect other adults and using their communication skills to speak to other people. So we really love our co-op. If you want to see a day in the life of the co-op, I made a video here where I followed my kids around all day long, all three of them. I was so tired that day, but you can check out that video that was co-op two years ago so i'll try to make another one this upcoming year last question is what is your homeschool approach so if we're talking about homeschooling styles i would say we lean towards charlotte mason ish stuff um i really just you know find subjects curriculum or whatever i like like i might do fun schooling for a nature study but do like charlotte mason for language arts and then do something completely different for history. So I just do whatever seems like fun and, and the kids will learn well, I will use that. As far as an approach, if you don't mean my homeschooling style, um, I do have the kids sit at their desk for their, for their work. And it's not that I agree with like school at home. I mean, it is school at home, but I do like my kids to have a little bit of structure. I want them to be able to sit still at a desk and be able to do some work. And like if they're going to co-op, they have to sit there and do work and do it, you know, and they're focused better. Um, when they do reading, and other, sometimes we'll sit on the floor a lot. We'll throw a blanket on the floor to do science and or sit on the couch for reading. We do use other parts of our home. Um, I am not an unschooler. We are not laid back homeschoolers. We do a lot of hands-on things, a lot of living books, and I just try to have a lot of fun with my kids during school, but I do like to make sure that there is structure, that they are definitely learning. We don't do tests or anything like that, but I can tell if my kids have retained some information. So those are my questions from this homeschool tag. I hope you guys enjoyed those answers. Check out all my other playlists for homeschooling and check out Katie from the Life, Life of the Mundane's vid, uh, channel in the description below. And I tag Heidi from Boy Boss Mama. You're it.